Our homes are bursting with items we no longer need or want, while shrewd shoppers and opportunistic sellers are capitalizing on this with sales of second-hand goods on the rise. A new survey shows the saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure has never been more true with the second hand economy now worth $40 billion a year, up from $30 billion last year. According to online marketplace Gumtree's second-hand economy report, it found 89% of people who have around 25 unnecessary items worth more than $5. 200 hanging around at home. Over the last year 84 million used goods were sold with most buyers saying they choose second-hand items to save money. Many sellers, about 40%. Disa to combat rising living costs and declutter to earn some spare cash for other expenses or the next holiday, while buyers are happy to pick up bargains often 50% cheaper. Megan and Paula Mewing source most of furnishings they use at home and for their house styling, business brush interiors, as well as the clothes they wear, from op shops and online second-hand searches. We'd look for a lot of vintage pieces but also some things are quite new. Says Megan, we found some Harvey Norman couches that were maybe six months old and heavily discounted. The designer rug in her stylish home she picked up for a quarter of the price after a former rug. Company where he'd no longer had the space for it. Her tips for styling your home on a shoestring are 1. Think about how you use each space, declutter and reuse items where you can. 2. When searching for specific items online vary your search terms. Use brand names and narrow down descriptions for a better chance of finding the exact item. 3. Do your research on Google and then negotiate on price or make a lower offer if you think the item is overpriced. Originally published is Turn Your Junk Into Quick Has News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information, including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.